Hello viewers, welcome to the course on Dynamical Systems and Control. In this introductory lecture, I will speak about systems, in, in particular about dynamical systems and control systems with some examples. To start with, let us see what is a system. A system is a collection of objects or devices or entities which are interrelated or connected and interact among themselves to produce various outputs in response to different inputs. So, uh, we have a system and there is a input output relation. So, there may be several inputs and several outputs of the system and there will be subsystems. The objects or devices which form the entire system are called subsystems. So, uh, in our everyday life, we will be able to see several uh, things or several phenomena which can be fit into this particular description of systems. So, uh, many systems are natural systems which we can observe in our everyday life and many systems are artificial or man-made systems which we use in our everyday life, various devices. So, for example, the planetary motion we call it as the solar system. So, it is a system with uh, several subsystems which are the planets, sun etcetera and they are governed by the gravitational force, gravitational pulls among themselves. The output of the system or the position and velocity of the planets at each instant of time that is of our interest. Similarly, the human body, it is a system with uh, several organs as subsystems and any action by a, a human body can be called as a output in response to the input which is given by the brain. So, there is a input output for the human body which is a natural system. Similarly, the prey predator population balance, nature is balancing the prey predator population by the food chain in the natural system and you can say the earth's atmosphere. is a huge natural system which uh, controls the seasons and climates etcetera. And these are the ma natural systems and for man-made system we have several examples like the aircrafts, missiles, cars etcetera and various devices which are moving 
through mechanical or electrical energy. So, the output or the outputs which are of interest are the position and velocity of these uh, moving objects at each instant of time. And we are interested always in controlling these devices for a particular purpose. And the air conditioner which controls the room temperature is another device, it is a control system where the output is the temperature of the building and the input is the cool or hot air uh, pumped from the device. And the economy of a country or a, the banking system. So, these are uh, some man-made devices uh, which is following the system principle. So, we have several such man-made system, whether the systems are natural system or man-made system, they are governed by certain laws or rules and regulations uh, pertain to that particular system. So, based on these laws or rules and regulations and based on the interaction among the subsystems and uh, the interaction of the environment on the system or the effect of the environment on the system such as the disturbances, measurement errors and friction force etcetera. Uh, one can find certain relation between the inputs and outputs of the system. So, these mathematical relations or inequalities are called the mathematical models of the system. So, mathematical models of the system. So, uh, some mathematical models may reflect the reality uh, close to the actual happenings. Some mathematical models may not be uh, reflecting the reality perfectly or even close to the this thing. But how to obtain a good mathematical model? It depends on the quality of the observation made on a particular system and making use of those observations and interpreting these observations to form a mathematical equation on the uh, system behavior. So, uh, we will see some examples of the mathematical models. So, for any system the outputs are considered as components of a vector in a vector space So, we call that vector space as the state space of the system that is called the output vector. Sorry. The output vector in a vector space that is called the state space of the system and the similarly the input vector. in a vector space that is called the control space of the system. So, for any given system we have inputs and outputs and they are considered as elements of a state space and the inputs are considered as the elements of a control space. We will define what, what do we mean by a dynamical system. So, a dynamical system is a system which evolves in time and changes according to a rule 
or which can be expressed as a known function of the state and the time. So, if you know the current state and the a function which is a, uh, a function of this current state and time and if the system evolves according to this function then we call it as a dynamical system. So, for example, if x 1 t x 2 t x n t if these are outputs of the system at time t and if the derivatives d x i by d t if it is a function of these variables x 1, x 2, x n as well as the time variable t for i is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to n, then we say that this is a dynamical system, mathematical model of a dynamical system. So, if the function f is a nonlinear function, then it is a nonlinear dynamical system d x i by d t is f i of x 1, x 2, x n i is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to n. So, here the variable t does not appear explicitly. The functions x 1, x 2, x n are function of time, but t does not appear explicitly. So, such systems are called time invariant system. And the previous equation, so this is t is appearing explicitly, so it is called time varying system. It is also called non autonomous. and the time invariant system can also be called the autonomous system. Now, if this function f i, if they are linear expressions, then it is called a linear system. So, we are familiar with the system of differential equation of the form a i j x j summation j equal to 1 to n. So, this system this is a i 1 x 1 a i 2 x 2 etcetera a i n x n i is equal to 1 2 3 up to n. So, this system of differential equation it is a linear autonomous system, linear autonomous dynamical system. If a i j these are functions of time, then it is non autonomous system. linear dynamical so we have this 
linear, autonomous and non-autonomous dynamical system. So, here we note that in dynamical system only output variables are available, there is no input variable in the equation itself. So, here the current position or the current output itself is acting as input for the evolution of the system in the future time. Now, the system of the form d x i by d t equal to f i of x 1, x 2, etcetera. u 1 etcetera u m of t comma t i is equal to 1 2 3 up to n. So, this system where the inputs as well as uh, input u i as well as the output x i are available in the equation, they are called control systems. So, here if we denote x of t the vector x 1 of t, x 2 of t, etcetera, x n of t, it belongs to the vector space R n for each value of t. So, R n is called the state space. and the output vector this sorry input vector u 1 t, u 2 t etcetera, u m of t, it belongs to R m for each fixed value of t. So, that is called the control space of the uh, control system. So, we can find uh, in various models, mathematical models which can fall in any of this category of whether dynamical system or control system or they can be uh, a non-linear or linear. So, various variety of systems we can encounter depending on the requirement of a real life situation, how, how much of information we require on an uh, real life problem, we can model the system accordingly. So, for example, if we consider various simple and familiar model, already we my, might have come across various equations of this type. For example, the equation of motion is a familiar one. So, the straight line motion of a particle under a force f. If m is the mass of the object, then by Newton's law of motion, we have mass into acceleration equal to the force. So, this can be written as mass into dx d square x by d t square that is equal to f, where x of t it is the displacement from a fixed point at time t. and d x by d t represent the velocity. So, it is a very familiar equation, but here it, it is not in the form of a dynamical system. We can convert it into the standard form of dynamical system by replacing substituting x 1 equal to x and x 2 equal to x dot. The position is called x 1 and velocity is called x 2 
at each instant of time, then this will imply that x1 dot is x2, the derivative, x2 dot is d square x by dt square, which is equal to f by m. So, this equation can be written in the form d by dt of the derivative x1, x2 in the form 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 into x1, x2 plus 0, 1 by m into the force f here. So, if you call the output vector x of t as x 1 t x 2 t, then this equation can be written as d x by d t, the left hand side, we can call this as the matrix A into the vector x plus B is this matrix and the force F here. So, it is the standard form of a linear control system, where f is the control that is the input to the system and x is the output to the system and A and B are matrices. So, they are linear operators. So, it is called a linear control system. And the constant m, m is the parameter of the system. So, if you consider ad, another simple model that is uh, the simple pendul pendulum, so the simple pendulum model is let us consider a pendulum of length L and m is attached at the end of the pendulum and it is swinging solely under the gravitational force. So, then the force acting downwards is mass into the gravity and if you resolve this into the two sides, the angle is theta at each instant of time. So, we can uh, use the Newton's equation that is inertia into angular acceleration equal to torque. So, because it is a rotational motion, we have this uh, second law of motion. So, the inertia calculation is the mass into L square is the inertia into the angular acceleration is theta is the angular angle, theta dot is angular velocity and theta double dot is the angular acceleration. The torque acting on the body is if you resolve this in this direction, it is mg cos theta and this is m g sin theta multiplied by the length is the torque acting at this joint of the particle and the torque is acting in the opposite direction. Positive direction is this one, the anti-clockwise direction, the torque is acting in the negative direction. So, the torque balance equation is the equation of motion of the simple pendulum. Now, we consider the controlled pendulum. Other than the natural force, there is no other force in the simple pendulum, but the controlled one we have the force, the same thing here, but if you apply a torque at the joint O, 
here. So, here we have to add in the right hand side the torque we have to add a extra torque that is the only difference. So, the controlled pendulum equation is m g sin theta multiplied by L plus the torque applied on the joint here. It is a it may be a constant or function of T. So, this represent the system. Now, if you convert it into the dynamical or control system form, we can call x 1 equal to theta, x 2 equal to theta dot. So, this will imply x 1 dot equal to x 2, x 2 dot equal to theta double dot that will be minus m g m g l divided by the c m l square plus tau divided by m l square. So, we can call this as if x is the vector x 1 x 2, we will get d x by d t capital X equal to a function the nonlinear function of this quantity x 1 x 2 is written as x and tau is the torque the control acting on this body. Okay. So, it is a control system. Here the parameters are L and M mass and the length of the pendulum. So, this example simple pendulum as well as the controlled pendulum they are the non-linear systems. Earlier we have seen the equation of motion it is a linear system. We have seen some very simple models uh, so far. In the next lecture, we have seen uh, we will be seeing uh, some more models which may be uh, dynamical systems or control systems, linear, non linear, etcetera, and reflects uh, more practical situations. Thank you.